really cool video for the Loudoun County Public Libraries. Uh, today might look a little bit different in our background because today we're gonna do all about animal enrichment and a little bit about animal training as well. So I thought I would start here in our kitchen because this is where we tend to start some of these things for animals. And I have Mowgli here with me who's being a little camera shy right now, but we will get him to come around in a moment. So what is animal enrichment? So really important part of what we do for our animals here at Wildlife Ambassadors is providing them lots of extra enrichment in their lives. And so obviously enrichment for you is changing up your daily schedule, uh, looking forward to going out for something, maybe a special meal or going on vacation or you know, simply getting in the car and going on a drive. These things can be enrichment for us, hiking. Animals need enrichment in their lives too. So we provide a lot of different things in terms of food, sometimes scents. Um, so I have some things here. We'll see if Mobley's gonna help us out here this afternoon. We're gonna let him pick some of his favorites as we kind of talk about what we're doing. So we use a lot of like empty boxes and things to set up enrichment for the animals. Um, things like this are always fun for Mowgli because he can also choose his own and do what he wants. But you'll see later in our video that we use boxes like these. After they're empty, I'll recycle them for the animals and we use newspaper to actually roll up treats, put them inside, put them in the boxes. And you're gonna see that with some of our other ambassadors later on. So we have things like blueberries that we'll use sometimes. We've got Cheerios over here. We even use peanut butter because sometimes in paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls, I will spread peanut butter in there. We'll put some Cheerios in there, maybe some sunflower seeds, um, and maybe even some of these blueberries. Oddly enough, one of Mowgli's favorites, and we'll see if we can give him one here today, are ice cubes. And I know that is weird because when we talk about enrichment, we are typically doing things that have to do with an animal's natural environment or their natural adaptations. Obviously, Mowgli is a parrot from Africa, so where would he ever find ice cubes? He wouldn't, but that's part of what makes this type of enrichment also fun. Is it something totally different and something he would not normally find, but he absolutely loves. We've been giving Mowgli ice cubes for years, and I think part of it for him is that it's something that he does hold in his foot, much like a parrot would hold a large nut or a whole piece of fruit, and he likes the fact that he gets to chip away at it. Why he will hold it in his foot forever, being that it's so cold, that one I can't answer, but this particular bird loves it. So enrichment's also very individual. Every animal likes their own thing. Um, they don't all like the same thing. So we really do try to try a bunch of different things and you know, kind of shake it up. Um, sometimes it might be different toys. It can be scents. So I will get things straight out of our kitchen cabinet, cinnamon, um, nutmeg. Uh, in the fall, as we get into October, we use pumpkins a lot. Pumpkins are a great enrichment for our animals because there's so much going on from the seeds to the pulp to the stems. So they really enjoy things like that, just getting into something different. So yeah, real variety and that's the key is we keep it different all the time, uh, provide a variety and we do it daily. We are gonna move on to another ambassador um, so that you can kind of see how we use some of these things. So for enrichment for our little striped skunk cotton, furniture is really important. You can see he has all these wonderful hollow logs and natural mulch for digging, but we also provide enrichment in the way of scent. Their nose and their claws are their strongest attributes and what they use in the wild. So we do things like this toilet paper roll. Great way for us to recycle it, but we fill it with treats for cotton and it keeps him really busy. It allows him to use his nose, which is really important, and it allows him to use his claws to help open it as well. So inside of that paper towel roll are not only some treats for him, but also I've sprinkled some cinnamon inside, um, and there's even, we do feed him some like crickets or sometimes cicadas, things like that. And so he's got some surprises like that in there as well. These are all natural things because skunks like to forage. And so skunks are really busy in the wild eating things like bugs. Um, one of the things that they will do is they will go after ground bees and hornets. Oh, he found one surprise. 
um, they'll dig into your garden and things for, um, or your ground for grubs. So that makes them really useful. Termites. So they eat a lot of pests. Um, and so this is just a really fun activity that keeps cotton busy. So we do a lot with scent and toys. Sometimes I'll stuff dog kongs for him too. Now with the treats, we also use those for training with cotton. And training is an important part of enrichment for this little fella too. Uh, so cotton is trained to walk right into his carrier when we go to a school assembly. And um, so a big part of training is that we like to give our animals choice. So they decide. So if he did not decide to walk into his carrier one morning for school, then he probably isn't going to go that day. But actually cotton is really a quite an awesome little ambassador and he's always ready to go. He literally loves to get in there and of course he gets these lovely food rewards too, so why not? So these are some of the important things. Um, we do provide toys too. So some of the things that he likes are like cat tunnels, like he has a little cat tunnel here. Um, Kong toys, you can also see there's some bones in here um, and he will scrape on those and sometimes chew on them as well but he's really enjoying this toy here this morning. Inside that paper towel roll, usually I'll stuff bits of like newspaper or um, tissues to kind of make it, you know, even more rewarding once he's able to get all of that out. So he's got to work a little bit harder to get everything out of there. Um, and this is just really important for these guys. They need to have activities and things to do. And enrichment is usually designed based off of the animal's natural behaviors. So that's why this one's a really great one for him. Sometimes if I don't have paper towel rolls, I might put things in boxes for him. He loves to forage into boxes, paper bags, um, egg cartons. So we use a lot of different things here. And it's just things that are kind of found in your house normally. And then we just reuse them for the animals. So he's having a good time. You can hear him crunching. He's getting those treats out of there. Their nose is amazing. It's their strongest sense. So that's what um, he is primarily using and then he is using his claws to get that paper towel roll open. So again, really good choice hello, of enrichment for this little fella because it utilizes two things for him. Another thing for enrichment for cotton is actually human attention from us because he was an imprinted baby. So although it's unfortunate that that happened and that's why he's non-releasable at this point he really does rely on people and so to not give him that time with humans would be unfortunate um, for this guy so we do spend time in here with him I'm trying to keep up with you you're very busy <laughs> um, and then again, like all this mulch in here, and sometimes we'll put different plants in here too, just to kind of give him extra things to smell or dig for. And all these things keep our little friend really busy, but they also keep him fit. It's important that he's really active um, because he's obviously living very differently than a wild skunk. And so we have to take all those things into consideration for Mr. Cotton. All right, we're gonna find out what some of our other guys do for enrichment here and let this guy mosey along. All right, for our next segment of animal enrichment, we're gonna visit in here with Jasper, our red fox. Now, you may have seen in previous videos, Jasper is here because he's non-releasable. He was unfortunately illegally raised as a kit, so obviously you can see he's very friendly with humans. Um, and so for this reason, we can't put him back in the wild. So that's why he is an ambassador here. We're gonna show you some of his favorite enrichment here today. <laughs> All right, so we've given Jasper a box. Um, and as we kind of talked about earlier, when talking about the different enrichments that we do, we use a lot of empty boxes, but we put things inside of them. And so right now, Mr. Jasper is gonna rip this apart to get all the treats that are inside. Try to follow him around. He's quite busy. He's already gotten some good stuff out of there. 
he gets very protective over his treats, which you can imagine, he is still a fox. So we'll kind of watch. <laughs> he did have an egg in there, and they get really excited about whole foods like that. This is something that in the wild, he would naturally go after. And as you can see right now, what he's doing that's really cool is he's digging so that he can cache that egg. He's actually gonna hide it for later. That's probably because I'm in here, so he doesn't want to eat it in front of me. And so he's gonna go back and get maybe some of his easier treats right now. Um, this is great enrichment because then later after we've done this with the box or we've done some training, he'll go back and actually find that egg. And eggs, of course, take them a while because he's gonna have to pick it up, crack it. So what I've done here is there were some blueberries, um, a little bit of dog food snacks. We'd get him some of those wrapped in newspaper inside of his box here. So it takes him a while to get that out. We also utilize a lot of toys for Jasper because he is a fox, he is a canine. So as you can imagine, he enjoys a lot of the same things as um, your dogs actually at home might like. And I'll show you some of his toys in a moment. And we'll see what else he might get out of that box there. This is fun for them. It's kind of like a nice surprise. It's something different. Um, again, we do enrichment based on the animal. So we do it based on their natural <laughs> adaptations. And so for him, his sense of smell is very strong. Uh, his digging ability is strong. Um, but foxes are also very curious. Foxes love new and different things. So we do try to constantly provide him with different things. It could be in the form of scent. Sometimes we'll put um, basil leaves or sprinkle cinnamon in his enclosure in here. Um, it can be in the form of what we call furniture. And as you look around, you can see that he has lots of different stumps, um, tree limbs, he has stairs, he has a little catwalk here that actually goes all the way up here. These are different things that he likes to utilize, climb on, play on, and we change them up. So we change them up frequently. Um, also, his enclosure is partly closed here in the back for safety to make him feel secure, but it's also partly open so he can watch all the wildlife uh, that is naturally out here on our property. And he does, and he enjoys that. So all of these things are very enriching in an animal's life. And that's a super part of keeping Jasper very healthy. Um, <laughs> so utilizing all those scents, listening, watching things. And he might even continue with this box because they also like to shred things. Foxes find that very, very fun. Um, so again, canine behaviors that we may be used to seeing with our own um, canine pets here. Sometimes we also, let's see if he wants to do this. Sometimes we also introduce things like this is a brush and it has the scent of other animals. Sometimes he likes to be brushed, um, but we're gonna go back for that egg. This is part of the fun thing about doing these videos is you know, animals are fun and we never do know what they're gonna be up to, so we just kinda of go with the flow. <laughs> so I thought he might wait till I was gone to get that egg back out, but it turns out he's pretty excited about it. He's decided he wants it right now. He may have dug it a little further than he meant to under there. Oh, there it is. And that is a fresh, raw chicken egg, by the way. Um, hasn't been cleaned, nothing, so it still has, you know, just kind of the dirt and smell of chickens. Um, all of that is very enriching to him. <laughs> and he is very protective. We would never dream of taking your egg away from you, Jasper. <laughs> all right, well, I think he would like to enjoy his egg without us in here. But this is a little glimpse into what we do actually daily for Jasper. Super important, and I do break it up. I do do a lot of different things. We'll come over here and I'll show you an assortment of toys as well. So we provide a lot of different toys, natural bones, actual deer antler. Um, these are all dog toys, but he loves them. We are very careful when we choose the type of dog toys too, because they do have to be things that he can't ingest. Um, so we actually choose things that are for uh, heavy chewers as far as dogs go so um, I know over here he's also got a Kong and so we do utilize Kongs too 
Um, he loves to chew on this and we will also fill it with treats. All right. Well, that leads us to our last animal today for our animal enrichment. So we're gonna go meet the second one of our birds and let Jasper enjoy his egg in peace. All right, so we're back inside in our kitchen with our second parrot ambassador. Hopefully you enjoy watching some of what we do as far as making up those boxes and handing them out to our other ambassadors that live outdoors. So we have Oliver with us for our final segment uh, today. And we've got a couple things here that Oliver most definitely likes, peanuts being one of them. Oh, that is a favorite. So as far as enrichment, food's a huge one for all animals and specifically parrots because they have favorite things. We do try to do training as well with the parrots uh, and the other animals. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, it is enriching for them. They enjoy doing things for their favorite food reward. Uh, so Oliver here knows certain things like foot. There we go, good boy. That also helps us too, because one of the reasons that we encourage that is so that we can easily, more easily start doing things like nail trims. And he has choice. He gets involved in his own care. He shows us our foot, we build upon that, and then we can do nail trims in a way that's not invasive and you know there's no holding him or anything like that he offers his foot so we do a lot of that kind of thing yeah and peanuts are most certainly his favorite um we'll see sometimes we have another one can we do a spin <laughs> a little more coaxing for this And sometimes there's steps, good. It takes us a while, so we do a little of these and again, we build on them. Um, some days he does a great spin, sometimes we do it in steps. But again, the idea is the same. He enjoys doing different things and different activities. So we are going to use this. I talked about this earlier. We've got our peanut butter in here. So we know that Oliver absolutely loves peanuts. That's one of his favorites. We're gonna put some of these in here. You typically will stick to that peanut butter. Put a couple of Cheerios in here. Hopefully our guy's watching. <laughs> and then we'll try to get a little blueberry or two in here for him too. This again is a great activity for these guys because it takes them a while. Um, they're gonna use that big beak and that big beak Oh, or he's gonna let me hold it. <laughs> Sometimes that happens too. I think I was talking about that earlier with the foxes. We just never know what they're gonna do and we just kind of go with it. There you go, pal. So being able to use his beak um, is a really important part of doing things with him because obviously you can see his beak's huge. That beak is designed to help him climb but also help him open things in the wild. So usually we will use things where he can hold that or hold it with his foot. Uh, apparently we're being a little more lazy this morning. He's kind of just checking out what's inside there, looking at it, but not wanting to hold it. So let me help you out. Not, not as into it. All right, well, we will save that for later, which is okay. Again, it's totally about what they enjoy. That's the reason we do it. So we'll save one of these for later when he goes back into his habitat. Um, he can just have this for, you know, kind of some time when I'm not working with him. Um, blueberry obviously was a hit. We do love all the different fruits. Um, fruits are great too because these guys tend to peel all their fruits and even a blueberry. He will get the skin off of that. A grape he'll get the skin off of. So that's certainly something that we try to use with him as well. Um, we'll see in a moment. I did bring this in. We do also give these guys showers or sprays. The top of his little head here is wet because he likes to get his head in his water bowl. So sometimes we'll do this as well um, and we'll give him a little spritz. We'll see if he is into it. And sometimes he gets really into it, wants his wings out and um, you know, we'll really enjoy that. Because he's a rainforest bird, this is another really natural thing for them. So we just put it on kind of a light um, spritz for them. When it's hot outside, these are great. It is raining outside, so he was outside a little bit earlier. Um, and he actually has his own tree out there. You can see some of these things in our videos too that sometimes we put up on our page um, because he does a lot of different things um, daily and we try to break that up. Obviously, Oliver's one of our big ambassadors that travels to a lot of shows with us. So he's one that you'll see um, up close too. And do that foot one more time and we'll get you another peanut, pal. 
Oh, that was just half. Oh, very good. Good job, buddy. All right. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing some of the different enrichment that we do. And this is really just a small handful of the things that we do. Truly, the animals traveling out to our programs with us are enrichment too. So this guy in particular loves it when he goes to a different school or he goes to visit a camp or a library. And anyone who's ever seen him there, he's a pretty big show off. So he enjoys that interaction. They're extremely intelligent. And the more intelligent they are, the more kinds of things that we need to do to enrich their lives. So those are definitely things that help for them too. So one thing I wanna put out to you, our audience, obviously we love having you involved and we love having you um, ask questions about the ambassador. So certainly anytime that you want to send emails or private message us uh, through our Facebook page with questions, love those, happy to answer them. But I also wanted to put it out there that if you ever have enrichment ideas, we love enrichment ideas. So you can do a little research on some of the ambassadors we have and things that might be a good idea and send them our way. And I will definitely let you know if it's something that we can use. We always have to use things that are safe and that's why we always use things like paper because uh, these guys can shred it, they don't eat it, so it's completely safe for them. Um, but if you have ideas, again, we'd love to hear them. So thank you again for having us for another segment at Loudoun County Public Libraries. Uh, as always, we really enjoy bringing these to you all and have a great start to your year.